Hello everyone and welcome to this session on what is IT ops. This session will be taken by an industry expert who has more than 15 years of experience. So without further ado, let's start with the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Now let us see the agenda for today's video. So firstly, I'll be talking about uh, what is the meaning of IT ops? What does it uh, stand for? Later, I'll be talking about the IT ops processes and why IT ops is important. And after that, I'll be talking about what does an IT ops uh, team do in the organization? And finally, I'll be talking about some of the best practices for IT ops. And I'll end the video with the conclusion. Now, without any further ado, let's move ahead with the video. IT operations or IT ops, as it's also known, is a large umbrella word that covers IT organizations, personnel outside of software development, networking operations, application deployment, maintenance and configuration, and overseeing both the physical and virtual components of a company's IT environment are all examples of this. To be sure, uh, that's a broad definition of IT ops and it may provoke different responses from different people. You wouldn't be wrong if you said uh, everything except the development staff. So basically, uh, except the development team, that is the core coding and development team in the company, every other uh, role except that is called as operations team. Because the term uh, sounds similar to DevOps, some people may opt it to use the two terms interchangeably, but both are different terms. IT ops refers to the procedures and services provided to the internal and external clients by an organization's IT employees. It is one of the four functions specified in uh, ITIL's operations management framework, along with application management, technical management, and service desk. Whether or not uh, they name it IT ops, any organization that employs computers and has a manner of servicing the IT needs of its employers and clients. However, in general, IT ops is a separate entity within the IT department. Every company's IT resources are organized differently. But an IT ops team is often made up of a group of IT operators and led by an IT operations manager who controls all of the IT ops responsibilities. IT ops processes Infrastructure The process of setting up, provisioning, maintaining and updating the software and hardware parts of an organization's IT infrastructure is referred to as an infrastructure management. Operating systems, professional tools, physical servers, laptops, printers and other items are among these components. IT Ops also guarantees that uh, storage requirements for on-premises and cloud processes are met. Network the process of managing network resources for internal and external IT communications is referred to as network management. Monitoring network performance is also part of network management. Network management may necessitate the establishment of a physical network operations center by the IT ops team in order to maintain track of the network through constant monitoring. Security IT ops is responsible for security management. It all starts with safeguarding hardware and software assets, which include hardware replacement cycles and patch deployments to keep software and hardware components current and compliant. Security management also improves access control and ensures that security standards are maintained throughout the organization's IT infrastructure. Problem solving This aspect of IT ops is commonly referred to as incident management and it entails both proactive and reactive steps to ensure optimal IT uptime and efficiency. Incident management deals with uh, outrages and disturbances, determining the source of the problem and resolving it. It also takes precautionary efforts to reduce the likelihood of calamities. Why is IT Ops important? Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in software engineering, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification program on software engineering and application development by ENICT Council of IIT Guwahati. And it is taught by IIT Guwahati professors and industry experts. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job. Now let's continue with the session. IT operations is vital since it's responsible for IT organization's services, systems and infrastructure that support an organization's business activities from the beginning to the end. Its job is to keep the organization's operations stable while also supporting new ideas that will take the company to the next level. 
Now let's move on to the next topic. What does an IT ops team do? IT ops provides high level technological assistance and manages the organization's IT infrastructure on a daily basis. IT ops can be modified to meet the goals and resources of each organization, making a standardized to-do list of duties. IT ops on the other hand can be split down into three primary ideas of responsibility and uh, these responsibilities as a function also. Depending on the organization, which and how many of these responsibilities, each IT ops team is accountable for a variety of roles. Among the responsibilities that may be assigned to the IT ops teams are Infrastructure for the network All the networking operations for internal and external IT communications are configured and managed. Telecommunication line configuration and management is also a part of the uh, network infrastructure. Firewall port management also allows the network to communicate with external servers. Management of servers and devices. Infrastructure and application servers are configured, maintained and managed. Managing network and personal storage to ensure that they match application needs. Configuring and approving email and file servers. The next thing that the IT ops team does is computer support and operations. Under this, we have the following uh, roles. Uh, that is managing the placement and equipment of data centers, managing the customer service desk. All user profiles on organizational systems are created, authorized and managed. Best practices of IT ops. Competent use of IT operation tools. Teams should embrace new tools that are being integrated into the infrastructure and ensure that all of the necessary skills for growth strategies are in place. The next best practice is to responding to the business requirements. IT ops must be able to respond fast to business needs which necessitates uh, using a product centric approach to arrange operations and teams while eliminating traditional silos. The next uh, practice is taking advantage of the IT automation. IT automation helps to eliminate low value, time consuming and repetitive processes. The next best practice is KPIs based on consumer and company requirements. Metrics should be based on KPIs and should be tailored to the demands of the company and its consumers. All IT ops efforts are connected with the aims of the business stakeholders thanks to a strong focus on the KPIs. Now that we have known the best practices for IT ops, I'll be concluding uh, this video. In today's more dynamic and connected world, IT teams are tasked with uh, ensuring stability, security and efficiency. Multi-cloud hybrids, uh, the need for observability, the velocity and agility demanded by the DevOps are pushing traditional IT processes and tools to their limits. As a result, service levels are inevitably harmed and the people are dissatisfied. It's time for IT operations to embrace cloud ops and AI ops which offer the speed and flexibility required to efficiently manage cloud systems. These tools aren't IT op evolutions. They are a completely new approach to the executing of IT operations. While implementation often necessitates uh, a cultural shift across the organization, the overall benefits, increased flexibility, security and reliability are too good to pass up. Thank you for watching till the end guys. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in software engineering, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification program on software engineering and application development by ENICT Council of IIT Guwahati. And it is taught by IIT Guwahati professors and industry experts. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.